Hey gamers, it's Kristen and I have a BoxyCharm review and new for you. If you have not seen one of these before, this is a video that I do generally every month. BoxyCharm sends me this video, it is not a sponsor, or sends me this, <laughs> they don't send me a video, they send me this box for free and then I try the products and I come back the next month and I talk about the products in last month, what I liked, what I didn't like, and then I will show you the products that are in this current month. This is not a sponsored video, but they do send me the box for free. I have all the information listed for you below. It's roughly $22 a month. You can get a little bit more or a little bit less depending on how long you sign up for. And I have two links below, the link that goes directly to BoxyCharm if you don't want to use my code. And then there's one that I have noted that is my code and I get a little bit of a spiff if you sign up under my name. If you do that, I appreciate it. If you don't and or don't feel comfortable, totally get that. So let's go ahead and jump into last month. So uh, there was one product, every once in a while this happens, my apologies in advance. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a product that I did not get to try this time. And that was the LMS Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. So in the future, I will try this and let you guys know um, in an empties or in a um, faves and fails video, something like that, how I feel about this. So my apologies that I did not try that. All right, next up was the Butter London palette. So I've used this quite a few times. This is what the shades look like. And I will give you another little swatch of all of them. Those are the first three. This is Enchantress, Queen, and Star. And so here's how I feel about this palette. And I, the only shade that I didn't use in it was Star. And that's Diva, Temptress, and Femme Fatale. They all swatch beautifully. So the shimmer shades, so Enchantress, Queen, and Diva. Again, I did not try Star, but the other three work beautifully. I am wearing uh, Queen on my eyelid today. And then I have a little bit of MAC Soft Brown in the crease because there's no transition shade, transition shade in here. And then I have some Temptress on the outer corner. So here's what I would say about this. The shimmer shades are great. They last, they don't crease. I don't have any issues with that. Um, the Both of the matte shades, Temptress and Femme Fatale, um, I have a few issues with. So the, the brown one in Temptress, it has nice pigment to it and you can see that it looks like it swatches beautifully. That's one swatch of it. But when you put it on your eyes, I had a really tough time getting it to blend nicely. I, you know, and I have I used tons of different matte browns. That's a, a very common shade in my collection. This one I just felt like was a little bit tricky to blend. Uh, and then the Femme Fatale, when you put that on here, it shows a pretty decent color. I mean, compared to how it shows itself in pan. But you really, when you apply it, I use it mostly beneath my lower lash line. You, I, you really have to build it up to get that color to show to its true color. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I like some of the shades in this, but I don't love the the two mattes. I don't feel like they're great. But you know, the, the shimmer shades on this end, beautiful. Again, minus star because I didn't get. To, I did, it might be great. I just didn't get to um, try it. Okay, <clears throat> next up are the Luxie, Luxie, take your pick, Gaia 3-brush set. I think that's how you say this. So here's the thing. Um, this brush right here is a foundation brush. I don't love this kind of brush for foundation. It's a 510. But what I do love it for and what I used it for, and you can see it cleaned up very nicely. There's nothing left in this, um, is a face mask. So like that LMS face mask or any kind of liquid face mask, that's what I use these to apply, this type of brush to apply, and it works very well. I, I liked it, and it washed up nicely. And then the other two brushes, this is the, they call it the Precision Crease Brush. So I think maybe if you're going to use, you're going to do some kind of cut crease, you could use this. It's a very, you can see I used it for underneath the lash line here. It's very stiff, has a little funny hair coming out of it. You can trim that off. It's fine. But what I used it for was inner corner work beneath my lower lash line. You could also, I gotta see here, you could also use it to take color up underneath your brow bone. It's a very nice, what I would call, not just, I wouldn't use it in the crease personally, but I don't do a cut crease. So it's a precision type brush and has multiple uses. Uh, so I like this. I would, I would totally use that in the future. Okay, the crease brush, or this, I, this is what I call a crease brush, the large eye blending, it's in the number 250. Um, these are dirty because I've been using them, obviously. 
So this is ginormous. I mean, I don't have really small eyes. I don't have really, I kind of have in between. This is ginormous brush. So it does work well for blending. I'm going to kind of get this in there and, and show you. It does, it does, it moves nicely. It has good movement to it. It doesn't get stuck, you know, sometimes brushes that are like, I don't know how to explain this, but a crease brush that is as dense as this sometimes doesn't have good movement on the eye. But it's huge. <laughs> so I would use it for laying down like your really lightest shade maybe that you're adding some dimension in your eye. Um, or at the end, that's the other thing I liked it for. At the end when I'm done and I just want to have like a good sort of final blend, you know, something where I'm not looking for you know, like a cut crease or something like that, this would work for that. So I like it, but it's not my favorite crease brush. All right, next is this Alamar Cosmetics De Nude as Lip. It's D-E-S, which if, from my French bringing, my, I, I was not brought up French. From my French in high school, you don't generally pronounce the S unless there's something after it. I can't remember. Anyway, I, I don't know. It's a new gloss. I don't love this, you guys. The color is pretty, but as glosses go, this one is just uber sticky and thick. And I find it really difficult to maneuver on my lips with this applicator. That's the other thing. So it's a very bendy applicator. So I feel like I'm kind of negative in this one. I'm so sorry. But I feel like this formula, as sticky as it is, needs a different type of applicator in order for it to apply nicely and evenly to your lips. I didn't like, I just didn't like the two together. I could probably deal, because I don't, I've said before, I don't mind a super sticky lip gloss, but I'm getting a Kleenex to whip it off with. You know, because I feel like it'll last longer, but this, I don't know, there's something about this that just wasn't my favorite formula. Lastly, it was this Appeal Gel Eyeliner. And it's in the shade Forest Green. It's beautiful. I really like it. It applies nicely. This for me, I do it have, I do, honestly, I do have it on my upper lash line and also on my upper waterline today because I really wanted you to be able to see the color on my eyes and hopefully it's coming through. But it's a beautiful shade. It does transfer though from upper waterline to lower lash, to lower. Uh, so it's normally I would just apply. Uh, I would just apply it to my upper lash line, smudge it out, and then I would put a black or a brown in my upper water line that doesn't transfer. So that's the only thing, but it's beautiful. It works nicely and doesn't transfer on your lower lash line either. You're, it is smudgeable, so you can smudge it out so it doesn't look like a stark line. Um, I really like this. It's $21, though. I think, you could, I think I could probably find another liner that is in this shade that is less expensive than $21, but I do like it. It is nice, and um, it's one of the things I was happy with. So, all in all, I, I don't know that this box really was worth the $22 for me, but for other people, you know, I've asked in my lives, there are people that really liked this palette. Um, so, I don't know, if you're looking at the palette, the liner, and, you know, a couple of the brushes, I think, I think so. So, anyway, let me clear this away, and let's move on to... Um, what is this month? August box. All right, I'm really excited about this box. <laughs> it just says totally boxy charm. I'm really, really, really excited about this box, so let's jump in. Um, the first thing is the Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. I kept, I keep meaning to pick this up because, or to purchase this, because people want to know how I feel it compares to the By Terry Hydra Powder that I've used for a couple of years now, straight. Um, so comes in a box like this, has a little thing like that that will keep your powder protected for travel and that sort of thing. I'm really excited about this. This retails for $39. Right off the bat, done. Happy. Good. <laughs> um, okay, the next thing is, and I just got this actually in PR from Wander, so I'll probably pass one of these along, but I'll still, of course, test it. It's the Wander um, Beauty Glow Ahead illuminating face oil. So I'm almost positive that I have this one. If I don't, then great. Now I do, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that retails for $42 because in a face oil, I, I think I always want to tell people to remember that you use like four drops of a face oil. So even if the price seems a lot, it's going to last you a really long time. So just keep that in mind. 
Um, the next is the next item is Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Now I don't. I've not tried this one. Oof, packaging hurts my ass a little bit, and I've not heard anything about this. Um, lately, all I've been hearing about is the one from It Cosmetics that looks that's like looks like um, Dry Bar product or something. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what this. It's an hourglass brush, but it's a big hourglass brush. Natural bristles, which is my preference, but that's huge. I feel like that's even bigger than... Sorry. Usually it's so quiet it's Sunday morning. Usually it's quiet before church. <laughs> Filming before I go to church. Um, so that retails for $23, which is kind of standard Tarte um, mascara pricing. Um, it says ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. So this, let me give you the before and after that they show on the box. So we'll see. We will see about all of that. Uh, I was going to go back and let, let me go back and tell you on the, the water beauty illuminating oil. It says a multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin's revealing into the skins into the skin revealing a bouncy youthful complexion no matter what skin type you have the lightweight powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin to help and helps to restore the skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow the spill proof dropper allows you to use it one drop at a time which is nice so i'll i'll check out all of that and then the becca hydra mist and refresh powder it says this weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth invisible finish formulated with 50 percent water and glycerin this powder provides a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. So I was already, I was automatically thinking about just using it beneath my eyes, like I use my By Terry Hydro Powder. But um, yeah, we're, it's, it's, we're gonna try it other places, meaning other places on my face. Alrighty then, moving on. Ace Beauty. I don't know that I've heard of Ace Beauty before, but these look so pretty. Um, Glimmer Shadow Duo. And these retail for $25, I think, for the two, because they're referring to it as a duo. So high pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one swipe without fallout, creasing, or fading. Well, that is... This is the shade Cotton Candy. They feel like um, ColourPop feels. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that you know what that kind of reminds me of? Sort of orgasm blush, but pinker. But it kind of has this gold glittery shift to it. That's pretty. Let me do this. You guys can see. That's so pretty. I can't wait to try those out, y'all. Okay, and then next is Ace Beauty. It's sorry, it's the same one, but it's an ice latte. You know where my mind went there? I kind of, I was trying to figure out why the next product came and there's not, I'll explain in a second, but it's a lip liner and there's no lipstick. Usually if you get a liner, you get a lipstick or a gloss. Anyway, <laughs> that's ice latte. So different from the L'Oreal ice latte, isn't it? This is more of a bronze, coppery bronze. It's beautiful. Again, absolutely stunning. I think that's going to look beautiful like with Sketch from MAC and ugh. All right, so, and then the last is the Steve Laurent Lip Liner. And I can't remember if we got a Steve Laurent Lip Liner or Eyeliner last time. Um, this one feels pretty much similar to some of the other lip liners we got, not necessarily from Steve Laurent. It's a little bit dry. It's in the shade Chick, I'm going to guess. It says, reshape, resize, and redefine your pelt. This pencil is total magic. It smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish. Completely waterproof, so no transfer or bleeding all day long. Lasts up to seven hours. Well, that's interesting. So that's a little bit new. It's a big, long pencil. Retails for $15. We have to go back. I can't remember what Steve Laurent product we have used before. Okay, so the total value on this box is $143. The products that are in here, I'm so excited about. I can't even tell you. If you have not jumped on board with BoxyCharm, this might be the month to do it. I'm just saying. There's a lot of great products. Well, what appear to be great products in here. Like I said, that Becca alone, I've been wanting to try that for a while, and that's $39. The mascara is $23. I just, there's some good products. I'm really excited about these eyeshadows. I hope they don't let me down. ColourPop sort of let me down, and this is the same 
um, packaging concept as ColourPop. They dried out is all that I didn't like about those. So anyway, um, on the rest of my face today, I told you what's on my eyes. On my cheeks, I have Max Blush in Sweet Enough, which if I can open for you. All right, there. Max Blush in Sweet Enough. And then as a highlight, I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. Ding. And then... <laughs> For my lips, I have, I'm a fruitcake today, what can I say? I have the YSL, oh boy, it's in number 17, it's called the Slim, it came in a, a kit, but this is the shade, it's a really pretty rosy matte shade, and I think that that is everything, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you're having a great day, and everything that you do and say, be beautiful, bye!